Hello friends, welcome to the homestead. This is the first time farmer over 50. So today is a monumental day. We have reached the end of the property line. So the, uh, the north side of the pasture, the, the perimeter fence, we have reached the property line. So I apologize for the sun. There's a whole lot I can do about that. Looking right into it, looking west southwest and then straight down the property line so you can see the, the orange flag there on the old T posts so this is what we've done so it's been a been a long struggle <laughs> but it's been fun and we finally finally got it done here so just wanted to show that and look at all this grass along the edge of the road. Joel Salatin said the best uh, way to determine what's what's the best grass to grow on your farm is to check what's growing in the ditch alongside the road. And I'll tell you what, we got a lot of stuff growing here. A lot of stuff. Let's take a quick walk in here. All right, so there's an old ash tree that came down. Here's the here's the, the second post right here. There's the first one. It didn't have a flag. But then looking down, I don't know if you can see through there. I can barely see it. But there's another fence post about 30 feet down or so. And uh, so we're gonna head start heading that way tomorrow. As a matter of fact, today is uh, August 17th, 2022. And on August 18th, we're going to start working that way. So in that direction is the end of the, the south side of the pasture, you know, where we cleared out from F over to the property line. So we're going to go that way until we uh, match up or meet up with that uh, other strip that we cut through. So you can see it's, it's thick through there. But uh, here we are. It's uh, fairly clear through there. Here's the the end flag. Now this is approximately where the the uh, fence will be. It has to be 25 feet from the center line of the road over there. So here's the first one, and we're just going to go ahead and take a walk through here. Just kind of pan around and just kind of see what's going on. This was a pile of uh, cedar trees started by I guess the phone company uh, when they were clearing out along the line the lines here I don't know if you can see through the sun but uh, the telephone lines were right above us um, several little walnut trees here and I don't know which one if I, I'm gonna keep if I'll keep any of them I'm trying to keep as many walnut trees as possible but they're kind of in bad spot right here along the fence line but we'll see and there's the next the next flag so I tried to do these about every 50 feet or so I don't know if you can see the last one but they're uh, approximately 25 feet from the center line um, I did that I marked these through um, when, when this was all thick so Everything's a rough estimate. Now that things are pretty well cleared out, I should be able to get a pretty uh, should be able to get a pretty good uh, accurate measurement. There's some beer cans found in the bush. I have to pick those up, clear that out of here. It's a bunch of old bottles and stuff that I got to pick up. Look at this. These tea posts. I have no idea where these things came from. They are mangled. They got chunks taken out of them. I assume. They were hit by um, by bush hog when the county comes through and clears the sides of the road. I guess that's what they did because T posts are really hard to uh, it's hard to take a chunk out of a T post. Look at that! Look at that one right there. Look at that. The chunks taken out of those bad boys. So I guess that's what happened. And why these T posts are here, I have no idea. To my knowledge, we never had T-Post in. 
Bill Waldemeyer didn't have any T-post in. The only thing I can think of is maybe Dad put some in uh, after I moved away, but he never said anything to me about it. So I'm gonna have to follow up and see if anybody else knows anything about it. But uh, yeah, I keep finding them. They're they're out there. And then here's looking up along or down the fence line, I guess. There's some cedars through there that need I dropped last week. Need still need to be cut up and cleared out, but I'll get to those eventually. And then there's some big, bigger cedars through there. And I don't know if you can see the next flag or not, but uh, it's in among those bigger cedars. And at least one or two of those are going to have to come down because they're right in the line of the fence. So um, a lot of these little trees are going to come out, especially anything close to the um, the telephone lines uh, between the telephone lines and the road I'm going to try to cut as many of these out as I can maybe leave a couple we'll see here's a here's a pole right here so and it is almost exactly 25 feet off the center line of the road there's my flag and there's the pole so we're pretty darn close all right, well, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's the big oak tree. So you can see we're almost at the top of the hill there. But it's uh, kind of looking through. There's the pasture over there. My piles of brush. Here's a new pile of brush. I just started that this morning. It's decent size. I went through there, cleared that out to make a spot put stuff and then just kept filling in all the way through here all the stuff that I've been picking up coming through here it's going into that pile and then that pile down there too so all right I think that's it I've rambled on enough so anyway thanks for watching certainly appreciate it if you want to hit the subscribe button or the like button feel free but as always thanks again for watching and hope to see you in the future but if not we will see you in the pasture. Bye.